New developments now as police have a person of interest in custody in the case of a woman getting shoved onto the subway tracks in Times Square. CBS 2's Ali Bauman is live now in Midtown. Ali. Well, Maurice, sources tell CBS2 police found the person of interest walking on the tracks in the Parkchester subway station in the Bronx and brought him to the hospital for an evaluation before they plan to bring him here to the Midtown South Precinct. Paramedics tend to a 28-year-old woman Friday morning outside the Times Square subway station. Police say she was standing on the NQR platform around 9.30 a.m. when a man passing by pushed her onto the tracks without saying a word. In a statement, City Transit Interim President Sarah Feinberg called the crime outrageous, saying in part, we continue to call on the NYPD to have a more significant presence in the system. The old argument that as long as there aren't too many of these horrifying attacks, we shouldn't take strong and decisive action is an inappropriate response. Overall, transit crime is down so far this year compared to last, keeping in mind ridership is also down due to the pandemic. But the latest NYPD data shows for the first week of October, there were eight felony assaults in transit compared to five for that week in 2019. Monday in Brooklyn, police believe this suspect attacked a family at the Clinton Washington station, knocking their 73 year old grandmother onto the tracks as a train was approaching. But thankfully, the conductor was able to stop in time. The victim in today's attack was treated for a minor injury to her hand, but is otherwise expected to be okay. We're live in Midtown Manhattan. Allie Bauman, CBS 2 News. Allie, thank you.